Hi, welcome to Breaking the Panels. I'm Ashley, and with the hype building for the Aquaman movie and first theatrical appearance of Black Manta, I thought this would be a good time to delve into the origin and history of Arthur Curry's arch nemesis, Black Manta. Just a warning for you guys, this video may contain spoilers for the upcoming Aquaman movie. Black Manta, whose real name is David Hyde, made his first appearance in Aquaman 35 from 1967. From that point on, Manta has been a permanent fixture of Aquaman's universe, appearing in numerous issues of Aquaman's ongoing series, as well as animated cartoon series from the late 60s. Black Manta is an exceptionally dark and twisted character, totally irredeemable, and one of DC Comics' most brutal, violent, and evil characters. In my opinion, he's right up there with the likes of the Joker. His wickedness definitely reached its pinnacle in the Death of a Prince story arc from the late 70s. Suffice it to say, not everyone made it out of that one alive. But to truly understand the man, we need to look back at his grim origins. Like most characters, Black Manta's origin has been reimagined several times. One of his earliest origins was an incredibly dark tale indeed. As a young boy, the child that would grow to become Black Manta was kidnapped from his home in Baltimore and forced into a life of slavery aboard a ship. At one point he saw Aquaman in the distance and signalled for help, but wasn't seen by our hero. The young man grew desperate and killed one of his captors with a knife and escaped his prison and life of slavery. From that day forth he vowed vengeance on the cold unforgiving seas and Aquaman who he felt represented that which he hated the most. He would go on to build his own wetsuit slash battle armour with helmet that emits eye blasts and terrorise the seven seas as Black Manta. In 2003, Manta's origin was reimagined once again in an equally dark tale. Black Manta was an orphan child, admitted to Arkham Asylum due to suffering from autism and excruciating pain whenever out of freezing cold water. Over time, the child was subjected to experimentation in a hope to cure his terrible condition. He was cured of autism, but became exceptionally violent, killing his doctors and escaping the asylum, eventually becoming obsessed with Aquaman. Black Manta would go on to receive his most definitive origin as part of DC Comics' New 52. Before he would become Black Manta, David Hyde and his father worked as treasure hunters and occasional mercenaries. Tasked with extracting blood from a young Arthur Curry and subsequent brawl with his protective father Thomas Curry, David would inadvertently cause the heart attack and death of Arthur Curry's father Thomas. Enraged by this act and still grieving, Arthur would go on to exact his revenge on David Hyde, only to target the wrong man and take the life of David's father. This act created a never-ending cycle of hatred that is felt to this very day. Most recently, Black Manta was seen warring with Aquaman's secret team of warriors known as the Others and leading his own covert group known as Nemo. Currently, Black Manta can be seen in the pages of Justice League as part of Lex Luthor's Legion of Doom. With Aquaman hitting theatres this winter, you can bet Black Manta will be making waves of his own. Are you looking forward to seeing Black Manta on the big screen? Please comment below. Also remember to like and subscribe. You can find us all over social media at Breaking the Panels.